In a previous video, I mentioned that Armand and Regine were very upset at Ricky Smiley's morning show for insinuating that he may be putting hands on her. They both took to Twitter to actually address the situation. Now, Ricky Smiley did put out all of the audio and you can hear what was said after the segment. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, get set the record straight. You know, somebody sitting up there uh, just making accusations. Yeah, I'm like, people can't, like, friend. that's crazy. People can't just hurt themselves anymore these days. It's crazy. Right. right. Now, after the whole segment was released, Armand and Regine both went back and deleted those tweets. Then Regine tweeted out, I will never disrespect Ricky Smalley. I was not talking about him. I grew up with his kids. I'm talking about the fans that are making things up. Now, then Ricky Smalley being very upset at all of the hate that he was getting, he went on to Instagram and he had some things to say. What's up, y'all? I'm confused by some. Now, I was just having a regular day until I got a phone call and then my nieces came over here because I got about 30 kids, nieces and nephews that's coming home for Easter just to get the family together so we could celebrate. Nobody said nothing about nobody on the radio show. Somebody came on there and read a story and we played the audio and that was the end. It's funny how people could get up here, get on the radio and lie and everybody jump on there and make negative comments just because you, your dumb ass believe what somebody else said. Now we sent the audio. You didn't hear nobody say nothing. Nobody on this, on this whole morning show said nothing. We love our, uh, uh, um, Regine, Wayne's daughter. Wayne daughter and my daughter are friends. Ain't no, or are, are friends on social media and they probably met before. Ain't no way I would get up on, on the radio and say anything about this young lady. I'm friends, I'm friends with Toya. And I have much, nothing but love and respect for Lil Wayne. We don't sit up there, I never would have. Never. For no reason. And, and, and even if you heard some shit like that, you know it's a damn lie. Because you know I don't get down like that. And I don't be coming after young people. Now, if I make a joke about something, because I am a comic, I didn't even make a joke about it. Now, go listen to the audio and start going and researching shit before you start piling on and commenting on shit when you don't have no fucking proof or evidence of what happened. We over here suffering, trying to do the family thing, trying to get the kids together. We're grieving. We're going, we're still going through stuff. It's still fresh for us. Ain't nobody got time to be on the radio uh, talking about, about nothing. I don't know what happened. I, I, don't, I don't read. I just stay on my little Facebook page and Instagram page and make TikTok videos every now and then. I don't know what's going on uh, uh, with other folks' kids and what their situation is. That was the first time me hearing about it when they did the morning show. That was my first time hearing about it. What is everybody jumping up sitting and, and I done went viral for the night. Went uh, over something. Somebody lied. Someone lied. We didn't make fun of nothing about nothing. I don't even remember what was said, but nobody said anything negative. That's crazy. We played the audio. And somebody else that was on someone else segment on my show. But it, it'd be crazy because if somebody said on the Ricky Smiley morning show, then everybody think that Ricky Smiley said it. I got other cast members on the show and I'm not throwing nobody under the bus because uh, the young man that did the segment didn't say anything negative either. So what the fuck is everybody talking about and mad about, mad at me about? What did I do? It's a lie. It's a bold-faced, messy-ass lie. It must be real dry for content out here for somebody to just make up an outright lie and said that we said something that we did not say. Oh, and I, I definitely didn't say it or made, make no kind of joke about it. <laughs>
So Regine responds with, it's all love, Ricky. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. God bless. Thanks for always looking out. Now, people underneath her comment were saying things like, I mean, you never said Ricky, you said the internet. And that statement stands true. Another person responds with, she didn't, but her boyfriend did. He went hard. He should be the one who apologized. And Regine went on Twitter to formally apologize. She stated, I apologize for yesterday. I spoke on something I didn't know much about and then brought up age where it wasn't even needed. I'm in a place where I don't want unnecessary drama and I don't want to offend anyone. Have a great Saturday. So you guys let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. As of now, as I'm recording this video, I have not saw an apology from Armand yet. I'm not sure if he's going to issue one or not. But I do want to speak on this whole age thing because I've seen a lot of comments about it. People stating that Regine shouldn't keep bringing up age. They're calling it like ageism or something like that. Now, I do feel like Regine does have a lot of older people following her because of who her parents are. They were fans of Lil Wayne or Toya. And then this is their daughter that they're seeing growing up. And now she's in this relationship. So yes, she has an older crowd watching her. And they're probably going to put their input here and there because they saw Regine growing up. So now it's like they have a mixture of like the older and the younger crowd because Armand brings the younger fan base and then Regine brings the older fan base. So it's probably a lot going on there for them. But again, you guys let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. Now, I do want to move on to this next topic with Lauren, Asia and Joelle. This story just keeps getting crazier and crazier crazier now if you guys don't remember about two or three months ago Joel went to jail and got hit with three felony charges that he's still fighting right now he's actually out on bond now, Asia pressed charges on him for allegedly putting hands on her then she even did a restraining order well now they are back hanging out allegedly Asia posted a video and you can hear what appears to be Joelle's voice in the background. Mm -hmm. So now Lauren has been going on to her Instagram story and posting Bible verses with the caption that reads, beware of witches. And God said, try me if you want to. Then she posts a rat and roaches. And even crazier is it appears that Asia may have pressed charges on Lauren as well. So she opened charges on Joelle and Lauren. And now Joelle is back hanging out with her after everything that occurred all of the trouble that he's in i'm just saying this is not going to end well but you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below now i mentioned in previous videos that lindasia has a new boo thing snoop now of course they're stating that they are just friends but they appeared to get into a little altercation on instagram live <laughs> Now, some people just don't do well with alcohol. But anyways, you guys let me know what you guys think about this and everything else in this video down in the comment section below.